Hello everybody. Welcome to Geometry Topic 5.2. This is ways to... Uh, I hate to say that word, but prove triangles are congruent. Here we go. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to give you two triangles. And the question is, are those two triangles congruent? Now to be congruent, it has to have all sides the same length, and it has to have all angles the same measure. So, are these two triangles congruent? Well, they do look congruent, don't they? But just because they look a certain way, does that make them what they seem to be? No. That's that's terrible. It's using that's judging. That's that's bad. We don't want to judge. We want to look for evidence and make conclusions. So, uh, the first way to prove triangles are congruent is by showing all three sides are the same length and all three angles are the same measure. That's six things. It's really annoying. That'd be like six lines in a proof. So two triangles are congruent if all corresponding sides and angles are congruent. All right. Nice thing about videos: if I'm going too fast, feel free to pause and rewind. All right. Now that's six things: one, two, three, four, five, six. That's really annoying. Well, the mathematicians have come up with some shortcuts. So we do not need to show six things. We need to show three things. And the first shortcut to proving triangles are congruent is side, side, side. That is, if three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of another second triangle, then triangles are congruent. Up here it said all sides and angles had to be congruent. That's the definition of congruent. This is a shortcut. It says as long as you've got three sides, then you're good to go, and you can make the conclusion that the triangles are congruent. So are these triangles congruent? And that would be yes, by side, side, side. There are three sets of congruent sides. Next, the next shortcut is side, angle, side. And notice the angle is sandwiched between two congruent sides. It says if two sides and the included angle, which means the angle has to be between the two sides. So in this picture, we've got one set of congruent sides. We've got two sets of congruent sides and included between the angles, sandwiched between those two sides there is a congruent angle. Therefore, that's called the included angle. And we can use side, angle, side. That's enough. Knowing these three pieces of information is enough to say that the triangles are congruent. It's like a shortcut. So that's called the included angle. The A is called the included angle. If two sides of a triangle and the included angle are congruent, then the triangles are congruent. Side, angle, side. Next one is very similar, but it's with a sandwiched side. We've got two angles and a sandwiched side. It's called the included side, just like before. It's called the included angle. So here we've got... an A, we've got another A, and between the two angles we've got an included side that's congruent, and that's enough. This will guarantee that these triangles are exactly the same. We can make the conclusion that the triangles are congruent by angle side angle. But wait, there's more. There's angle, angle, side. 
which means two consecutive angles followed by a side. If two angles and the non-included side, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so here we go. If you see in a picture, you got A. You got yourself another angle. And then look at this side. Is this side sandwiched between the two angles? Like up here it was. Up here it was clearly angle side angle. The side is between the two angles. Down here it's an angle and angle and then a side. And it's not that I'm, I have to go clockwise or I have to go counterclockwise, but it's that the side is not included, so it's angle, angle, side. It's a very subtle difference between these two. But look at the difference. You need to notice the difference. Angle, side, angle, 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 side. Students tend to have a problem. And then there's the last one. The last one's a little weird. It's called the uh, hypotenuse leg theorem. And you have to know a little bit about a right triangle. So if this is a right triangle, that's a leg, that's a leg, and that's the hypotenuse. So what this is saying is if you have a right triangle, so it only works with a right triangle. This is the only one that work, it works with a right triangle. If you have a right triangle and you've got the hypotenuse If you got hypotenuse is congruent, and you've got one leg congruent, that is enough to assume that the triangles are congruent. By congruent, I mean exactly the same. So this piece of information is enough to make that conclusion. All right, so recapping here, we've got side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, and HL. And you might be wondering, well, why not, why can't you use AAA? Or why can't you use ASS? Or why can't you use SSA? Well, here we go. If, uh, let me get another sheet of paper out. Let's suppose, for example, we had two triangles. And it would be very possible for these triangles to have one angle the same, two angles the same, and three angles the same. However, these triangles are not congruent. They're similar, but they're not congruent. Congruent means same size and same shape. So not congruent. Angle, angle, angle. Not going to work for congruent. What about ASS? Well, here's, here's an ASS example. Let's say you got two lengths that are the same. That's an S. And let's say you got an angle that's the same. It's the same angle. You can connect here to here with the same length as here to here. So that's ASS, but these are not congruent. So ASS does not work. Plus, it spells S, so you can't do that. What about SSA? Well, it's just S backwards, so you can't do that. Some of you might be saying, well, what about, what about the, the HL theorem? Isn't the HL theorem angle, side, side? And you're exactly right. It is. It is angle, side, side. Angle, side, side. But didn't you say you couldn't use angle, side, side? Well, the stipulation is if you are right, then you can use ASS, or if you want to use uh, life, 
you can only be an ass if you are right. Okay, so in general, it doesn't work. But you can do it if you're right. Next, explain what an included angle is and the included side. If I've got this side and this side marked, that is an included angle. And this, those are not included angles. And if I've got this angle and this angle marked, this is an included side. And that and that are not included. It's like between. That's another way of putting it. Alright, on to the second page. These first several examples are actually from the previous lesson. So in this scenario it says IKJ is congruent to triangle IGF. So JI will match up with FI. Segment FI. Call it segment FI. I think that's big enough. Number three, uh, angle TUS. So go in order. TUS would match up with BAU. All right. On to the next one. It says mark the angles and sides of each pair of triangles to indicate whether they're congruent or not indicate that they're congruent. So we just have to mark it up. So VW matches up with LM. WX matches up with MX. And then obviously this one would match up with that one. Let's go to the angles. V matches up with L. That makes sense because they're obtuse. W matches up with M. And then these would be left over. So there I have it all marked. We can do the same thing over here. Angle C matches up with angle C. Angle D matches up with angle R. Angle E matches up with angle Q. Now for the sides. CD matches up with CR. DE matches up with RQ and lastly I've got it all marked this one we just gotta go backwards from what we just did so you just have to state and the order doesn't matter we can just do one two three marks so that's X W V and now I went one mark two mark three mark so I over here I have to do the same one mark two mark three mark so it'd be P Q, V. Down here, we could say triangle T, U, V is congruent to triangle U, T, C. You have to be careful that you do it. Oh, I'm not in the frame. You have to be careful that you do it in the correct order. Okay, next. It says state if the two triangles are congruent, if they are, say how you know it. What you don't want to do is state, say, uh, they're congruent because they look congruent. Nope, you got to give evidence. So these two triangles, we've got one side, two sides, three sides. So we're going to say they're congruent by side, side, side. Number nine, this side is not marked. But it is congruent, it's shared. So in this scenario, we've got one set of sides, we've got one set of angles, and we've got another set of sides, so side, angle, side. And number 10, are these triangles congruent or are they imposters? Well, let's see what we got. We do have a shared side, so we can go ahead and mark that. We've got one set of angles, we've got one side, and we've got one set of angles, and notice that the, the side is sandwiched between the two angles, so that's why it's angle, side, angle. And this one is angle, angle, 
and then they share side right there. So side, look at the difference between these two problems. In this one, the side is between the two angles. In this one, we've got an angle and angle, and then a non-included side. And 12. We have a shared side. Can we use can we use angle side side? Is it okay to use angle side side here? No. However, it is a right triangle. This is the hypotenuse and this is a leg. So instead of using angle side side, this is a hypotenuse, this is a leg. We can use the HL theorem. In this scenario, in this problem, we've got side, angle, side. And in this one, we've got angle, side, side. Those don't match up. They're in the wrong spots. So in this scenario, even though the triangles look congruent, we're going to say not congruent. There's not enough evidence to say that these triangles are in fact congruent. This one, we notice a right triangle, so can you use the HL theorem like we did above? Not quite. In this one we've got angle, angle, angle. Can you use angle, angle, angle? There's, there's no information given about the sides, we just have three angles, and that will not guarantee congruence. Number 15. This would be side, side, side. Let me just go through these uh, quickly. We've got vertical angles here, so we've got side angle side. We've got an included side between two congruent angles, angle side angle. Oop, I'm out of frame again, sorry. I'm working on this. Here we've got a side, but it's not between the two angles, it's angle angle side. In this scenario, we've got a right triangle, we've got a hypotenuse, we've got a leg, we've got a hypotenuse leg situation going on here. In number 20, this is just a messed up picture. How could this side be congruent to this side? They're not even close. We do have another set of angles, so in this triangle, you could maybe get away with angle side side. In this triangle, you could get away with side angle side those just don't match up so not congruent and in this last picture we have vertical angles that we know are congruent and this one we've got side angle side and in this one we got angle side side those don't match up again not congruent alright if I went fast there feel free to pause and rewind and whatever we need to do. Alright, so now in 22 through 25 we need to be dirty cops. We need to plant the evidence. We would like these triangles to be congruent by side, side, side. But right now we've got 1s, we've got 2s's, but our third side is not marked, so therefore we need to go in and mark the side. There we go. If this was a multiple choice, we would state FG needs to be congruent to YG, like that. 23, we need to plant evidence. We need to plant an included angle. So it would be angle R and angle M. And now, the, now we've got side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. The triangles are congruent by side, angle, side. We planted the evidence, and there we go. And we want to plant evidence. We want to plant angle side angle evidence which means an included side which is not marked so we'll plant it there and plant it there now these triangles are now guaranteed congruent by angle side angle angle side angle and the last problem angle angle side so angle angle we need a we need a side marked am I gonna mark this side 